What did you find in my office, driver? Oh, nothing. I think an animal got in and set the alarm off. Some sort of stubborn mule. Not again. This is why I told you not to store carrots in there, idiot! So don't worry. No one knows you're working for Vinnie Papalardo. Excellent. What? You looked at my records! Sorry, I, I couldn't help it. But wow, Vinny Papalardo is one heck of a criminal. Maybe so, but unlike me, Vinny Papalardo has quite a temper. What? I am very mild-mannered! You're fired! Also, he doesn't trust anyone. Not since Mo, his right-hand man, got arrested. <laughs> huh. Vinny would probably be really grateful to anyone who could help with that. Oh, yes. You could just steal a prison truck and then pick him up outside the courthouse where he's being sentenced today. Wait a minute. You're not thinking about joining his crew, are you? You're my driver! Not for much longer. If I can get Mo out of jail, that could be my way into Vinny's gang and get me one step closer to Rex. Hey, Chase. What you need? What can you tell me about Vinny Papalardo's right-hand man? Mo DeLuca? He's not actually a criminal, he's just Vinny's cousin. So why is he being sentenced? Uh, let me check. <laughs> wow, 412 unpaid parking violations. Parking tickets? So, I suppose it won't really matter if he doesn't go to jail. What are you up to, Chase? Chan is working for Vinny, and I'm pretty sure Vinny is working for Rex. But to get in with Vinny, I'll need him to trust me. By busting out Mo DeLuca? That doesn't sound very by the book. It's the only lead I've got. Does the department have a prison transport truck I can borrow? Maybe. Try Chuck. He's outside the back of the station. I'll tell him you're coming. There, Officer McCain. I've been expecting you. Great. So do you have a prison transport I can use? I sure do, but I could get into a lot of trouble from lending it out. Then maybe there's something I could... Perfect! You read my mind. Grab that box and follow me. Dump the box down over here. It's a bike I mail-ordered. Oh, man, they didn't include the wheels. Think you can find some spares? I'm gonna get to the chip. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's one. Find another. It ain't a unicycle. another it oh wait uh, i'm thinking of tricycles well it looks real nice i wonder if it's safe to ride <laughs> 
Well, I guess there's only one way I'm going to find out. You should take it out for a spin. Just once round Cherry Tree Hills and Auburn Dock should do. was pretty speedy, and it's still in one piece. A deal is a deal. You'll find the prison transport truck in there. Yeah. You okay back there, Mr. DeLuca? I ain't talking to you. Just shut up and take me to Albatross. If you insist. But I don't really work for the prison, so we can go somewhere else if you like. What? Oh, man. I know Vinny come through for me. What's your name, kid? Chase. Don't know you? Don't care. Take me to the usual hideout. Actually, I work for Chan Chuang, but I'm sick of it. I arranged this escape because I want to work for a real criminal. Ha-ha! Shows you got guts, Chase. Cedar Street, that's where the hideout is. Looks like they figured out what I'm up to. This might get bumpy. If it gets me out of an eight-year stretch, it can make it as bumpy as you like. As getaways go. I give this one seven out of ten. That's not bad, kid. I can see why Chan hired you. You're pretty good at driving. You know, 
This is making me all nostalgic for the time Jimmy Squareleg stuffed me in his trunk and drove me over the border. Happy days. I can't believe they were gonna send me down for eight years just because of some parking tickets. I mean, sure, I should have hired a lawyer instead of defending myself. We're getting close. So, do you really want to jump ship to Vinny's crew? Yeah. Huh. I might be able to swing something. I mean, you're good with me, kid. But Vinny, he's another case altogether. You're gonna have to do something really special to get in with him. Whatever it takes, Mr. DeLuca. Come round the back and let me out. Thanks. Mo! You escaped! We was just formulating a plan to bust you out of Albatross for Vinny! Too late. This kid beat you to it. Now get rid of that truck! Thanks, Chase. I'll be in touch. Hey, Chase, I think I found your in with my cousin Vinny. That was fast. What is it? My brother-in-law works at the airport. Said they got some shipment of fancy high-tech gizmos in from a security company out east. I know for a fact that Vinny would really like to get his hands on them. And how do I get my hands on them in the first place? Ah. Okay. I don't usually like to do jobs myself, but you did me a real solid back at the courthouse, so I'll help you out this once. Meet me in a car park south of the airport. I'll get right over there. Hope Mo doesn't take long. Hey, Chase! I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Not at all. This car is for you. It belongs to my brother, who I don't get on with. So feel free to damage it. Don't worry. With my driving, that's a guarantee. Whoa! And that's the truck you gotta stop. Get in the car! Great! Now floor it! I'm out of here! I was long overdue a career change anyway, so thank you very much. You're actually doing me a favor. I was stuck in a rut in that place. I'm gonna pursue my dream of becoming an accountant. Wow. Is anyone still listening to me? Nice driving, Chase. I think you're gonna be a real asset to the crew. Now get the truck to Vinny's restaurant. He might not know you, but trust me, that shipment will smooth it over nicely. been speaking with the mayor's office and she says you can do whatever you need to and charge any costs to the department whatever it takes to catch Rex Fury your timing couldn't be better I just took a delivery truck without permission don't worry I already started a tab for you after Frank told me about the car you took for Chan Frank actually passed that on I'm impressed well he was gonna try asking Santa but he checked with me first. I think he's starting to learn from his mistakes. I kind of feel proud of him. I'll keep you updated if I have to take anything else, Ellie. Ellie, I'll have another thing for the tab soon. 
I'm about to break into a bank vault. Ugh, which one? The Lego City Bank at downtown. No problem. You need any help getting in? Sure. Okay, right. There's an entrance to the sewer in the gardens opposite the bank. Whoa, wait. Sewer? I can't just walk in the front door? It's a bank fault. The only way in is via a ventilation hatch on top of it. And the only way to that is via the sewer. Did you expect a red carpet? No. <sighs> Fine. Thanks, Ellie. Hey, Chase, you in the bank? I'm in a sewer. Wow, did you take a wrong turn? <laughs> I'm kidding. I've been reading the instructions for the color gun. Yeah? Yeah, you're gonna need to fill it from a color swapper. That sounds like an unusual thing to find in the sewer. I agree. I just have this weird feeling there'll be one down there. the Lego City PD gets discounts from a dry cleaner. I really don't want to know how this key ended up in a sewer. <clears throat> but I do want to know how come it fits this lock. What a significant looking red panel that is. Ooh, it smells like these pipes are used to carry sprouts. I guess that's a color swapper then. The gun's got some kind of green stuff in it now. Great! Now, if you see any electrical panels which are glowing red, you can shoot them with that thing to turn them on. Ooh, I saw one back there over a gate. You know, I've always wanted to see this bell pepper emerald. They say it's as big as your head. Used to belong to some royal dame, but she sold it, cause wearing it as a brooch gave her back trouble. I'll be in touch.
Why couldn't I learn to swim backstroke? Yeah. Chase, I just read some more. Keep a lookout for a red color swapper. Right, red color swapper. Whoa, this emerald. It's meant to be the most flawless one in the world. Not like those useless lumps of crystal they get out of the bluebell mine. I mean, they're valuable, but uh, this thing, whoa. What? Who tries flushing an air mattress down the toilet? On that color swapper. Once you fill the color gum with red, you can use it to turn off electrical stuff by shooting any green electrical panels. You know, this is actually kind of like the old days when I used to rob banks myself. Except uh, I ain't the one who's risking his neck this time. I'll read up some more. 